What's up? So, uh, obviously, uh, first off, Happy New Year, and I'm feeling good enough today to actually record my favorite pickups of uh, the past year video, so I'm going to do that, and I don't have these in any particular order, but uh, yeah, there's f there's actually 15 this time, because there's just some on here I couldn't... I. As everybody has said in their top and their top whatever number albums of the year, it's like there's some I couldn't bear to leave off of here. So I'm pretty much taking the same approach. I got a lot of decent pickups this year. So anyway, I'm gonna start off with uh, the fifteenth, and then some fold with the stage. I mean, obviously it's no secret I like events some fold with. I mean, man, they're, they're back, they're back, and yeah, it's a little more, like, progressive, but it's not exactly, like, straight dream theater progressive, they still have, like, their, el their usual elements of, adjust camera, their usual elements of, like, metalcore and Avenged Sevenfold, like, their own stamp on here, and it's just really, really good. Only track I really don't care for is the last track, Exist, I just... I can't get into it. I think it's like seven and a half minutes in that they find that finally uh, M Shadow starts singing or Neil deGrasse Tyson starts talking. Either way, it just I I I don't I don't like the last track. That's really about the last. That's like the last song where I draw the line on. It's like hey, I could literally take it or leave it. Next up is uh, Judas Priest, Painkiller. Like I said in the last video, or the last collection video, was, uh, it's uh, classic, classic Priest. I absolutely adore that album. Uh, and it was, their, their, it was their last one for almost the entirety of the 1990s. And in the eyes of a lot of people, the, la the only good Judas Priest album ever since, uh, ever, ever since it released. Though I don't share the same opinion, I think Jugulator is pretty good, and... Angel of Retribution, well, I think they're all pretty good, and Redeemer of Souls, but yeah, I, it's still still really good, and if you're a fan of heavy metal in general, I or like Arena Thrash, as I've heard it described, this is definitely a good album for you. Uh, next, I have Aborted with, with uh, Retro Gore. And if you can see there, that's the result of having little siblings who have access to your room. Which irritates me, but, you know, whatever. But anyway, yeah. Aborted with Retro Gore. This is... Hands down one of the best aborted albums in a long, long time. Easily, like, six, eight years, probably. Just, it, like, they... They brought back their magic, and while I do very much so enjoy uh, the Necronic Manifesto, this is just so much better. This is so much better. Uh, yeah. And then they got, and then on uh, Divine Impediment, they have Travis Ryan on vocals, so that's obvious points with me, because I'm a, I'm a pretty big Cattle Decapitation fan. And the next, and yeah, I'm just showing off CDs first. Like I said, these are in no particular order. Then I have, uh, System of a Down with uh, Mesmerize. Name bu bugged out on me there. I'd, I'd say this is next to uh, Toxicity. This is probably their best album. And I am really looking forward to the next System of a Down album. Cla best, Probably one of the best rock bands like almost ever, honestly. Or New Metal or whatever the hell you want to call them. I really fucking love System of a Down. And then next we have uh, King 810 with La, Pe La Petite Mort or A Conversation with God. Again, this is an, this is the album that has probably grown on me the most this year. The it started it started off really really good. I really enjoyed it, and then after and then I don't know, just something about it slowly but surely just kind of worked its way up to. Being one of my favorite, being one of my favorite albums this year in general, which I don't make those, I don't make a favorite albums list because 
for two reasons. Is one, I'm no good with actually putting things in order, and two, uh, I just I don't feel like uh, I don't feel like I pick enough enough up, up enough albums during the current year to actually warrant doing that because I like to show show off everything I have physically. And but yeah, I'd say this is definitely been the album that grows on me the most. Um, unlike unlike the stage, uh, I do feel like every song on here I can I can enjoy. While I did have my criticisms about uh, me and Maxine and Wolves run together, I still feel like they work in the whole context of the album as a whole, as compared to the state, as compared to exist on the stage, which is just, it feels like a whole lot of guitar fuckery, and I just, I can't, I love progressive music, I really do, but I just, <clears throat> I just really cannot stand that song. Again, it's where kind of where I draw the line. And then next we're going to move on to records, uh, which by the way, we are one, two, three, four, five, we are on number 10 now. But, but uh, yeah, Agaloc with Faustian Echoes. Easily, easily my favorite EP from Agaloc, or single, I guess. This is a 20-minute song, but I guess I can kind of count as an EP. Got that mm, dope little etching on the back. But, yeah, uh, if you don't know... A, about uh, Faust, he made a he made a bargain with the devil himself for unlimited knowledge in exchange for his soul, and basically Faustian echoes is the story of Faust. Uh, yeah, I really I really freaking love this, and I guess you could argue that it doesn't count as a uh, as an album for the year, but you know what? Fuck you, it's my list. And I don't know why I bothered showing that off, honestly. Because I don't plan on doing that with the rest of these, and I'm going to worry about that after the video. Alright, next up, uh, I would have uh, Exercises in Futility. If you couldn't tell, Migwa with, uh, with Hearts Towards None. I would have Exercises in Futility, but I feel like I picked that up last year, so I don't, and I really don't want to have to sift, sit through all my, all of my videos, honestly, to see if I'm correct on it or not, so I figured, why not just go with the, why did I take that out of the sleeve? I w figured, why not just go with the second, the second best Mikawa album? Super happy to, super, super happy to have this. Uh, like I said, and like I keep saying, second best Mikawa album, hands down, and, uh, yeah, the, and I got that with my uh, ta I got that with uh, all the rest of the reissues with uh, my tax return this year, and it was money well well spent. And then next up, Death with Leprosy, easily my favorite Death album by far. I don't know if I've said anything to the contrary uh, before, but you know what? I'm changing my mind. If I did, this is probably my favorite Death album. This is a lot of people's favorite Death album. Pardon me. Uh, one of the like the second, the second death metal band to ever exist, Chuck Schuldiner. While I had my uh, obvious criticisms about death being death, the band being treated like a treated like a religion to a lot of people. He was a guitar. He was like he was a guitar god. Obviously, I like old death, but again, this is prob this is like my favorite album from them. And next up, uh, Triptychon with Epistera Diamones. This came with the abort with the aborted box set, and this took a lot longer to arrive because of the aborted box set. But I have to say, this is like Triptychon and their two and their two albums of of music have done no wrong. And when I I had never actually listened to Epistera Diamones when. Whenever I first ordered the album, I figured it. Fuck it, I'll just blind buy it. I love uh, Milana, Milana Casmata enough, so why why not? And I was not disappointed at all. That's it's so hard to decide between 
which one I prefer. And honestly, I think I might just have to go with, uh, I might have to go with, uh, Milana Kazmata simply because Aurora is on there, and that's my favorite Triptychon song. But either way, that is, Trip Mephistera Diamonis is easily, easily one of my absolute favorite pickups of this year. And think about it, I probably should have put Epistera Diamonis on the list since I'm pretty sure I got that this year too. Whatever, fuck it, I'm in the middle of making the video, no going back. Next up, uh, Cox Bar with Here We Stand. Uh, I mean, what's there to say? This is like, oi, punk, what, hardcore, whatever the hell you want to call it. This is it at its absolute finest, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there's, and honestly, the, they haven't lost anything. This album came out in 2007, and seeing them live, they sounded exactly like they did on, on the album. Obviously, their voices have changed since, um, Shock Troops and like their earlier in output, but they still they still are very tight. They still write really good songs, and I hope we get at least one more Cox Bar album before they decide to finally retire. And then next up we have Mutilation with uh, Black Millennium Grimly Reborn. Fucking love this album, man. This is like evil, evil as shit sounding black metal. Very muddy and low production, and uh, and I keep forgetting the their the yeah yeah never mind. But yeah, really really fucking good black metal. Super glad I picked that up. I that I picked this up at any point this year. I finally have mutilation in my collection, and I and yeah, it's good shit. So yeah, sorry I'm not really going into much detail, but obviously I'm not not the most well spoken of people. Next up, Carcass with Heartwork. Really happy to have this, because, again, I absolutely adore Surgical Steel. That's my favorite Carcass album. But this is, I'd say, next to this, next to uh, Necroticism, Discanting the Insalubrious, this is probably my favorite. It's kind of a tie with those two. Really, really good. Their first, their first uh, melodic death metal album, and... It's uh, one of the best that Carcass has to offer. I don't really listen to melodic death metal that much anymore, but if I do, it'll usually be a Mo it'll usually be a Monomarth or it'll be Carcass because they just do it so flawlessly. And then next up, Infinite Annihilator with the with the Elysian Grand Evil Galarik. I'd I'd personally call this like technical deathcore. That's like the best label I can I can I can think of to define it. Uh, Dickie Allen, that their new singer is out of this fucking world. I swear to God, the guy's a werewolf with the delivery on some of his vocals. Uh, I actually want to give credit to everybody because they all do a really good job. Aaron Kitcher is. One of but out one of the most outstanding drummers. Even if they do do half speed, I'm it, I could listen to probably a ten minute drum solo from him, and I'd still honestly be just I'd still be interested. Absolutely fantastic. And then Eddie Pickard for guitar and bass. Ed, he knows how to create some really I'd say catchy catchy riffs. And, uh, yeah, I really, really enjoy the hell out of this album. I'm very happy I picked it up, despite all the BS I went through with indie merch to get in the first place, and the money and all that. Hands down, one of my favorite pickups of this year, without a doubt. And now we're on to the last two, and both of these could honestly be qualified as my favorite album this year, in general. I'm going to start with... This Man of This from Imperium Decadence, because, duh. Uh, yeah. <sighs> like, atmospheric, black metal, gods, Vespasian and Horez are flawless, flawless bastards. I'm pretty sure they shit out chocolate truffles, to quote from Razor Fist. But, 
they are absolutely the black metal gods. They have done no wrong in their one, two, three, four, five in their five albums of existing, and then the split. They have done absolutely no wrong. I'm thoroughly convinced that they cannot do any wrong. I hope that they don't that I hope that they don't prove me wrong on their next album, but I have very I have very, very high expectations for Imperium Decadence. This is hands down I it's a tough call between uh Priscilla Vadens and Dismanivis for my favorite album, but I feel like the more and more I listen to this, though Procella Vans has my favorite Imperium Decadence song on it. I honest to God feel like the more and more I listen to this, the more and more I'm leaning towards this being my favorite Imperium Decadence album. It's just absolutely outstanding, flawless, flawless black metal. I'm so beyond happy to have all four copies of the vinyl because I have a problem. And I really hope that someday they end up coming to the U.S. for a tour because I will go absolutely ape shit at the merch table. And then the last one, Carnifex with Slow Death. Because again, fucking duh. This and this album is tied with being my favorite Carnifex album between Die Without Hope and Slow Death. And unlike Imperium Decadence, I genuinely can't choose. Because Die Without Hope has helped me through some hard times. And then after this album released this year, uh, I don't know. I feel like a lot of the I feel like a lot of the instrumentation is better. I feel like the vocal delivery is a little more I guess human like, I, I guess would be the way to describe it, but the, the lyrics on both of them remain the same. I'm e thoroughly impressed by the by everything Carnifex has done. I love everything, because I'm a big fanboy, obviously. Pardon me. This is just absolutely outstanding. An outstanding piece of deathcore. And, honestly, and I, yeah, I mm, love, I love it. Love it so much. There we go, words. This is, yeah. I again, I feel like some of the some of the instrumentation on this album was better. I feel like the vocal delivery is a little bit more believable, but at the set, but at the same time, I feel like I just Die Without Hope has such a deep rooted place in my in my little black crispy heart that the instrumentation and vocal delivery on there is also so good, but at the same time, this, I feel like, is just, it, it, again, is from, like, a more believable standpoint, and I just love this album to death. Uh, rest in pain, bitches. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my 15 favorite pickups from this year, and I'm sorry I didn't keep track of the numbers because I'm incompetent, but yeah. And then I figured, you know what? While you guys are here, I might as well show this off. My uh, my now ex uh, was making this for a birthday present earlier th earlier this year. Got kind of held back because a lot of the people who were shipping these things were very unreliable. But I finally got a ja uh, patch jacket. I got Abbott, Demon Hunter, Carnifex. Uh, the a okay, so let me just go right here. Abbott, Demon Hunter, A Hell to Die Upon, and Loss, and The Great Chapter were all patches that I gave her. And then she had ordered the Carnifex one, she had ordered this Dagger, Industrial Music, which, whatever. And then Motorhead, because all hail Lemmy, he, Lemmy is God. But yeah, this is a very, and then I don't know what that is. If any of you have any idea what that is, please tell me, because I feel like there's a band patch, and I should know that. Probably an Agalock one, knowing the nature-y shit, but yeah. Anyway, super happy to have this, and thank you guys for a very, very successful year for me on YouTube. I greatly appreciate every each and every one of you bastards. Uh, you guys are... 
you got you guys are pretty much the whole reason I do this because it's a hobby. But I mean, I like getting my opinions out to other people and people who might agree with my opinions. It's been a very good year for me and a very difficult year. But I mean, regardless of whatever, regardless of whatever the hell happens, I'm still gonna be here. Still gonna be making videos. I'm not really gonna delve too deep into my personal life. But I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna delve too deep into my personal life. I'm just gonna keep this I'm gonna keep this uh, channel pretty much all about music. Um, I, well, all about music and like, I guess trending topics within uh, music community and all that shit, and like my collection and whatnot, obviously. So yeah, thanks thanks to all of you for. For very successful year, I hit I passed 50 to subscribers, which is mind blowing to me. I think I'm at like 62 now, and that's again mind blowing to me. And yeah, thanks a lot, guys, and peace. I hope you enjoyed the video, and blah blah blah. Later.